Good morning, I'm back. So I've arrived back in Colorado, I'm back at work, and it is a little bit later since my through hike of the Arizona Trail. And yeah, I've just been chilling, but I'll get more into that later. This weekend, I'm actually gonna go for an overnight trip. We're gonna head to a lake. So I'm getting ready for that. So come along with me if you wanna see it. Later. But don't we love the sit? So this is my athletic dress. And I'm gonna try it out tonight. And we're gonna hike. Got sunscreen. Got not my toothbrush, but we need that. In normal pack. All right, we are packed up, but I have no food. <laughs> so we're gonna go pick up some snacks. Lunch, I'll definitely need a dinner and then maybe one or two things for breakfast. Here we go. Definitely gonna get some rain at some point. <laughs> so I have my rain jacket though. Heard a little bit of thunder. No lightning though, so we're just gonna go. Um, my pack is very light. It feels not very heavy, which is great. And yeah, very comfortable. It feels nice to get back out and be doing something. And luckily it's not super hot, which is great. <laughs> so yeah, just starting. So probably the first 20 paces already, but how pretty is that? Just, I love walking around the lake. And we're gonna head up to another lake too. So yay! I actually did a at home workout, which I don't usually do. I normally just go for walks. So I'm kind of sore, from like my arms and my abs a little bit. But it feels nice to be outside. I've mostly been doing hiking for work. So pedestrian surveying, which has been actually really great. We've been super busy so far this summer and we're already a third of the way through the season, which is crazy. 
but it's starting to rain a little bit harder now, so I better keep moving. But just look at how lush everything is. It's hard to see, there's a bunch of like pink flowers and Oh, it looks so nice. And those giant other white ones. But yeah, it's really mellow. I so it's still raining and I'm under this little rock uh, outcrop or something. <laughs> I don't know, rock thing. So I thought I would just take a break for a little bit, sit down. I brought myself a little a brewski. You know, got to stay local with the cores. So I'm going to have that and just kick it because I am on my own time. I'm on my own schedule. So... Just gonna relax for a little bit, see if we get a little bit more rain. I mean, I don't even mind going through it and I do have a rain jacket, but at the same time, it's like, ah, I'll take a little break. I think I've done like three miles and I think it's about seven to get up to the lake. So we're looking good, it's only like one. So yeah, let's hang out and chill. Sitting here and look. Some little nest or something. So pretty. Got these nice yellow ones. Currently bouncing on a rock, so let's not fall over, but then we got the nice pink ones. Woo! There are so many flies here, but um, we're just about at the halfway point. We're by South Fork, I guess turn off as well. Um, so I got another three and a half miles and I think we did most of the uphill already. So that's kind of nice. But look how pretty it is. It's not raining anymore. A little bit of sunshine. Um, I don't expect there to be any more storms coming through, but there are a bit of um, clouds in the sky, but I do see some blue. So we're just gonna keep going. Um, I like need to, I like had to stop and take, like grab some water, but there are too many flies here. So I'm going to keep moving. I love these mushrooms. I can't believe I get to see them here. And it stopped raining. The trail's looking nice. And we're just cruising. We are getting up there for sure. It's so nice right now. Just a little bit of clouds, but no rain or anything. And I'm the only one on the trail, which is great. It's so nice just being out here too. It's just like completely unbothered from so many other aspects of life. Oh, but I'm getting tired. I'm hoping we're getting close. <laughs> but honestly, I'm just taking it really slow and trying to be mellow, um, which is nice because we are hoping to get some good practice in um, before we do the AT. And um, hopefully that'll be next year, but we'll see what ends up happening overall. But most likely, yeah. I, I really have been thinking about that since I did the PCT. Um, the AT just sounds very like romanticized and interesting and like cultural, I guess. I think the PCT and the CDT would be more um, isolated overall, um, but I don't know. We're definitely, that's like the plan for now. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to uh, do videos or not. I was actually just looking on my Arizona ones and I was like, oh, I'm so happy I made these. Like, it's just nice to like look back and like see how your trip actually was. And if anybody else wants to watch that, that's totally cool too. Um, but yeah, I think the AT will be interesting because it won't just be solely me too. It'll be my partner and I. So we'll see what we end up doing. But yeah, we're just taking a break. Ah, taking a break and 
gonna continue from here. Gotta catch my breath a little. Definitely going up, but I just thought these flowers were so pretty. Got some kind of paint brush and then elephant something or another. Oh, so pretty, we love that. So quiet too. Woo, feeling it, but feeling good. I know I'm getting obsessive with flowers, but they are so pretty. Even look at these ones. Ooh. Like a purple, ah, it's out of focus. Like a purple, black coloring, and then they're gonna be yellow. Oh, I love it. Another break. Another break. Isn't that great? I think that's pretty great. Definitely getting close now, probably under a mile. And there's a little bit of a berm over here, mountain, hill, whatever, <laughs> whatever choice you would like to use. And I think we're gonna be smooth sailing from there. We are close to the CVT, I think. But uh, whew, definitely feeling it, which is good. Just nice to get like back out here and uh, trying to work it. <laughs> I am loving this dress, it's great. Uh, my socks are definitely wet, but eh best to be expected with the rain and the wet foliage for the most part. <sighs> okay, a little break and then we're back at it. If you're wondering how it's going, enough said. If you follow that line too, you get up to the CDT. And uh, don't tell my partner this, but um, the more and more that we're in Colorado and the more and more I see the CDT, the more and more I'm thinking about it. Definitely seems like it would be epic views, but we'll see. I just passed uh, a couple um, and just said, hey, they're camping there. So I'm looking for camping now. We have to be 200 meters away from the water. So far enough away. I really don't even need water, um, probably because it was so overcast, but that's okay. Um, find a spot, drink water. If I need more in the morning, I'll just grab it. And yeah, so let's find a camp spot. So I've made the choice to cowboy camp because we did get rained on. And I definitely think because I'm in a little bit of a field, I'm going to get that moisture. And I'm going to take my chances. I don't think it's going to rain anymore. And I would love to see the sky at night tonight. So let's go for it. But those flowers do. Ah, love that. Yeah, so I'm making the brave decision to cowboy camp, even though it does definitely look like rain. Um, I just want to be outside. Like I, I know I could probably like put my cover on, and I wouldn't have to put the top layer, and I could still see the stars. But um, I don't know. I feel like very mellow, and I really don't think it's gonna rain anymore. And if it is, ah, I leave it tomorrow anyway. My socks are definitely wet, but eh, whatever. Um, just feels nice to be out here. And you can see the divide. I will flip the camera. There we go. If you follow that up, you're gonna hit the divide. Actually super beautiful. And all these, I think they're like, you see them? I think they're called elephant something or another, which is gorgeous. But uh, since I finished the trail, I have been working and hanging out in Colorado, doing some hikes. I uh, plan on doing a, another 14er hopefully next week. Maybe I'll vlog that or um, do a video on that or something. But I feel like very settled at least for now, which is nice. Uh, not the daily grind of getting miles in, but I'm really happy I did those videos looking back. So hopefully AT 2022. And uh, I don't know, I might do some videos, but it might be like a different like format. It won't be like maybe day to day. I don't know. I'm going to be hiking with somebody else. So it could be very different, but uh, man, it's really hard not to feel pretty satisfied with life after you hiked up to get to a location that's absolutely beautiful with wildflowers and a lake <sighs> and just not feel pretty appreciative. And uh, don't worry. I'm Far enough away from the lake, uh, you need to be at least 200 meters away. So I'm definitely more than that, which is good. And I saw some other people too. So just in case, it's always nice to have some 
people around, but uh, I'm just going to chill and listen to some podcasts and not do that much. So I'm just hanging out, uh, eating some treats, finishing my sandwich. Uh, not that much going on, but I don't know. It feels nice to be out here. So I think this is longer than I actually thought. And it's mostly just me hiking or moving or the outdoors. So, I don't know. We'll just leave it at that. Have fun. Get outdoors. Love ya. Good night. Good morning. Very pretty. But I am tired. The sun is coming up. That's good because there's a lot to do, but... <laughs> Of course, that's what happens when you sleep on a bunch of grass. But it's still really pretty. Oh, so just getting ready to start the day. All right, so we are headed back now. I just ran into a couple who I met yesterday. We were just chatting for a little bit. Like, oh, like, he just got up here yesterday evening, you're leaving. I was like, oh yeah, I gotta go back. <laughs> it's like, you sound so happy. Like, you just get out and hike miles. And I was like, oh, sometimes when I can. <laughs> nice couple. I told them how I hiked the Arizona Trail this last spring. They're like, oh yeah, I've seen a ton of hikers come through. So that was pretty nice. And yeah, I'm still my puffy which is a mistake. I'm definitely gonna need to change. Uh, but you know, when you're just like, I don't want to, it's like that point, but it's definitely gonna be toasty today. And it looks like clear skies. Oops, starting to get a little muddy, so I'm gonna go. I got a little lost, but we're back on the trail now. Oh, nice. A little bit of water going back this way. Mostly downhill too, which is great. And just like that, we are almost back. It's just about 1030 now. So a little bit further to go and we'll get back in our car and head on home. <laughs> 